Hi, my name is Hewlett Smith. I'm an occupational therapist and co-founder of Rehab Mart. I'm here today to talk to you about the Oceanus ESWT, that stands for Extracorporeal Shockwave Therapy Device. That word extracorporeal that you see in the literature really just refers to doing a treatment outside of the body. This particular device is extremely safe because it delivers a type of shock wave which is unfocused or diffuse. So it makes it really safe to treat orthopedic conditions all over the body. So this is a really simple device. It comes with a treatment wand and a base for the treatment wand. Included are a six millimeter, a 15 millimeter, and a 25 millimeter head, which screws into the wand and a foot activation switch, which actually activates the pulses, a power cord, and of course the treatment module. I'm gonna take the wand, this is the wand, I see the wand head right here. We're gonna match red to red, red dot to red dot. There it goes. And then for the foot plate, you simply look for the foot switch and you match red dot to red dot. There we go. And then power cord. So before I begin my treatment with my patient, I need to choose the, the head for the wand. And I've already looked at the protocol and determined that we're gonna be treating a lateral elbow. And it's recommended that we use the 15 millimeter head. So we have a six, a 15 and a 25. I've got the 15. You just simply take it and you try to make sure it's level and you start screwing it in. It's gonna feel a little bit difficult to screw at this point, but just depress and continue to screw it in until you can't turn anymore. And then once you've reached all the way, just give it a little, a little tug, but you don't need to tighten it that tight. So now we're ready to begin treatment. The great feature about the Oceanus is that you've got this therapy icon and it just shows you the anterior and posterior of the body. And you can just choose any body part and it gives you a nice protocol. For Peyton's treatment session today, we're going to use a preset therapy protocol. So we're gonna go over here and click on elbow. And we see that the indication here, this is for radial or ulnar epicondylitis. This kind of gives you some guides anatomically for where you want to move the wand. And the power level was 60 to 90. So when we hit treat, you can see that it's starting at 90. Let's back off to about 60, just to make sure Peyton can tolerate the lower end of the energy range. And the frequency, it said five to 10. We'll back this off to about seven. And before we start the session, we're going to always want to apply the rubberized cap, which just fits over the wand. The, the package provides you with 10 or 15 of these rubberized caps. So I want to take some ultrasound gel and apply it to the elbow. So here we go. We've got the gel on the wand. We're at 60 millijoules, seven hertz, and we just start the treatment. So it's important to monitor how many pulses you have left in the treatment. And the way you do that, as you can see right now, we're at 720. I've actually paused the treatment. I'm going to put the wand back on the patient and I'm going to depress the foot switch. And you can see we're counting up 720. Now we're at 750. And we're going to count all the way up into 2000. And at 2000, we're going to be done with the treatment. So when the wand gets hot and you hear the fan come on, don't be alarmed by that. That's just cooling off the head. This is a natural part. Usually it takes uh, a few minutes into the treatment session before the actual fan turns on to cool down the distal head of the wand. So all in all, this is a really simple, easy to use device and it's really safe. Please be sure to check out the full article on Rehab Mart's Caregiver University. Just go to Caregiver University, type in Unfocused Shockwave or Oceanus and you will actually see the full article which explains all the science. We go into detail regarding focused versus unfocused shockwave. You really need to read about that and understand the science behind that.